Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, we're gonna be discussing a super important operator known as the modulus operator. Now this is used for so many different things inside of computer science, and it's actually so simple, but grasping it uh, to start with can be a little bit confusing. So pay attention and, and we'll get through this just fine. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. The modulus operator will give you the remainder of some division, specifically integer division. So let's say we had 10 divided by three. Well, right now, if we ran this and we printed out the value, we're just gonna get 3.3 repeating. So running it, you can see we have 3.3 repeating. However, if instead of doing what would be float division where you can split it and get fractional parts, if we did integer division, well then there would be some remainder. So three goes into 10 three times with one left over. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one left over. So yeah, maybe that's rudimental and I'm, I'm going into the details a little bit too much. Although I think it is helpful to think of it with this, this beautiful example. Let's say we have slices of pizza and we have 10 of them and we have three people. And you want to hand out the slices of pizza for everybody to enjoy. And we're not, we're not gonna split any pieces yet. You're gonna hand out three to each of the three people and there's gonna be one whole piece left over, which then people will either have to fight to the death over or it's just gonna to go to waste. So this is how we can understand the modulus operator. So to use the modulus operator, it's the percent sign 10 modulus three, and you could also use variables here. So pizza modulus people, and we get one. So what we could do is we could say something like leftover and then pizza modulus people, and we get leftover one. So I don't wanna to get too into the details of this. However, this operator is common in certain data structures because it can be used to transform a large number into a smaller number in a, in a very natural way. So let me just go through one simple example of that. Let's say we have this really large number and we want to transform it into a number under 10. Well, what we would do is let's just change these variables. Just call it limit and say 10. And then what we would do is we would say number modulus limit running this and we get the value five. And it's actually impossible to get a number 10 or larger. We're always going to get zero through nine. So if you imagine here for a second, we had some box and this box had 10 different positions to put data in. We could use the modulus operator to decide where to put that data. And this concept is the basis for a really popular data structure known as a hash map.